G'day Steel Nation Australia, g'day Steel Nation Worldwide, and g'day Steel Nation Universe. Welcome to the very first official and probably maybe only mock draft I'll do, depending depending what happens and depending if you guys like the idea. Uh, we're going to call this mock draft, no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing with the mock draft. I have no clue. I have no clue about college. I have no clue about the draft. I love the draft. I love to watch the draft when, you know, the draft, I've got three special days, the draft, NFL kickoff and Super Bowl, my three favorite days. But I'll be honest, I don't know anything about the players. I know a little bit. I know like, you know, some na some names might come up. I know a little bit, but we're really just going to draft on position. And what we might do is look at the players after the draft. So I might, you know, choose a few of them and bring up their stats and dive into that player and talk about them after the draft. Let's see. Okay, so for the exercise today, what I want to do is invite you guys to, to watch along. Uh, I'm going to go on to, I think I'm using, what am I using? Uh, NFL mock draft database.com, their, their draft simulator. So hopefully this is YouTube friendly and we're going to bring them up and me down the bottom. So I'm going to put me down the bottom here, right? And we're going to choose our team, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's our team. That's the best team in the world. Uh, keep everything the same. I think that's all the same. Far, normal, far, seven rounds. Uh, that will do. And we're going to start it. And we're just going to just pick by position. I do know what this team needs via position. So this could be quite fun or this could be, you know, absolutely nothing. Let's find out. Let's see what can happen. So I think I'm starting the draft now. Um, Jaguars pick Evan O'Neill, whoever that bloke is. We'll go back and look at the first few, the top 10, or look at the first few uh, picks because they're always interesting. I do know some of those names. So as we're going down the list here, uh, we're coming up to 20. And the Eagles have so many picks too. So I'm on the clock. I don't know how much time I have. I'm actually going to put my, I'm putting my timer on for this. I'm going to do this in about 10 minutes, all right? So 10 minutes to do the whole draft, and then we'll, we'll talk about it at the end. But let's see who we picked or who's picked. Uh, Jaguars going to help the, help out uh, Trevor Lawrence with uh, Evan Neal. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson goes to the Lions. That's kind of predicted too. I've heard some stories about Aiden Hutchinson going to the Lions too. He's a big fella. He's kind of like a relentless TJ Watt as well. Uh, Cole Hamilton's a good safety. He goes to the Giants. They need some help with safety. Uh, Kenny Pickett goes to the Broncos, right? So maybe the Broncos don't believe in Drew Locke. That would be very interesting too. Uh, the Commanders take Burks. Uh, anyone else that stands out that I see, I don't really know. Tyler Lindenbaum goes to the Ravens. Um, he's been a name too. The Lindenbaum has been a name that's been mentioned. Um, do the Steelers trade up to get Lindenbaum? Do the Steelers pick up Lindenbaum if he's available at number twenty? Because I don't know. I don't think I don't think Steelers will trade up. To be honest, uh, going down the list, we have Matt Corral is one of our first or second quarterback on the on the list. So we're here at twenty and. I think I already know who I want. There's been there's been speculation around: Do the Pittsburgh Steelers pick up a quarterback? Do they go for O line, or you know maybe defense to short the defense? I think who I see on the board right now. This is a player I do know. I've been researching into Malik Willis a little bit. I think you'd be silly not to take him here. I think if he's available at twenty, I think Malik Willis is the guy. Maybe this year. Um, he could start behind Rudolph and work our way into the offense as he gets comfortable behind Matt Canada. But I think you bring in Malik Willis. I don't think you'd, you'd go anyone else. Uh, I think a quarterback at this position at number 20, imagine if you, if, if, you, if you don't pick Malik Willis here and he's a crazy fast quarterback, a young quarterback, you can get him for that fifth year option, turn this franchise around. If you don't choose him here, then... For certain, the Raiders uh, might pick him up. The Buccaneers, maybe even Green Bay, depending if depending if Rogers is in there. Dolphins, if he fell that far, you know he's not going to survive. So, in this draft, let's pick up Malik Willis. Let's 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 just do that. All right, draft. Here we go. Okay, and we'll just keep going. Keep going. Also. This is this is um, sponsored by Bourbon today, so this is helping me out as well. 
shoot, I've got seven minutes. I've got to go fast. Seven minutes. Um, I should have put that on fast mode. I don't know how to change that. This, this could be time consuming. So I think the next pick, I think we have, yeah, 52. So we've got the quarterback. We've got the quarterback that we want for the future. We have Malik Willis. Now who do we get? All right. Who do we get? Do we, do we go for offensive line? If I go to offensive line, let's go inside offensive line. Zion Johnson. No idea who that is. Tackle. Ooh, he's ready 64. Um, who are these blokes? Couldn't fucking tell you. Okay, so we've got these two dudes. Or they're saying the best the best player available is Isaiah Spillart 42. But let me bring in this dude, Zion Johnson, and then we're gonna we're gonna look into him. All right. We're doing this on the fly. We need we need some help on the O line. Let's bring in Zion Johnson. All right, we need Zion Johnson. We have a quarterback. We have help in the offensive line. We have six minutes to go. And I think next, for the position-wise, I wouldn't mind going for a receiver. A receiver at this point. Or maybe someone on defense as well. Maybe a cornerback, a uh, middle linebacker, someone like that. All right. Coming up to 84. God, I should have put it on fast mode. It's going so slow. Um. 84, who we got? So we have Trey McBride. I don't think we need a tight end. Carson Strong's still there at QB. We don't need another QB. We've got our QB. We have that guy. Uh, we don't need another too many tight ends. I don't think we need another tight end. I think we're good. I think we have Muth and we have five minutes. We have Muth and we have Gentry. I don't think we need that. Why don't we, for the sake of arguments, all right, let's pick up Kobe. Kobe Bryant, that's cool. Kobe Bryant, is that like... You know, Kobe. Uh, yeah, let's pick up Kobe Bryant. I can't pass on Kobe Bryant. All right. So now we've got Kobe Bryant as an excellent three-point shooter. So we have him uh, in their draft. We have Malik Willis. I've already forgotten. We have a tackle. Cornerback. Now for our fourth pick, this is where we can get a bit creative too. Do we go receiver? Bring another receiver in. We don't know if they're going to bring in, if, if James Washington's going to leave. We don't know if Juju's going to leave us. So right now, I'm going to choose a receiver just to bring in. And I don't care who it is. I need a receiver. And we have 19 picks to our selection. Four minutes to go. And I can't do it faster, so we're just going to deal with it. I think you guys can still see, right? Yeah, you guys are still seeing. You, you, guys, you guys know what's going on. All right. We're coming up. So the next pick we have is 130. Oh, Lord, where is it? 137. Okay, who do we got on... No, need a tight end, mate. Let's go receiver. Let's select Kyle Phillips at 152. So he's... Oh, man, I can't even figure this out. Um, Bo Melton. Maybe we don't know who these blokes. I have no idea who these guys are. Um, Do we just pick a cool name? Like Trey Turner? Oh, dude. Charleston Rambo. Is that too late to get that guy? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hope that Charles and Rambo is their next pick, and I'm gonna pick someone else because I want to. I want to see a Rambo in the Steelers. I think it'd be fantastic. Let's go this bloke offensive line again. I've been easy, and he's gonna help us out in the line. And then we're gonna hope that Rambo is there next. Okay, three minutes to go. Halfway through the draft. Uh, my selection so far. Malik Willis from Liberty QB. Zion Johnson, inside line, inside O-line from Boston College. Kobe Bryant, cornerback from Cincinnati. And offensive tackle, Obina Easy from TCU. So, we've got two, two guys on the offense and one guy on the uh, cornerback. But, 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 but. We have a pick coming up in how many selections? Doesn't even tell me. I've got more picks, right? About 200 or something. So yeah, we're going to choose Rambo for the receiver because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to pick a Rambo? Right, so we have the next pick at 222. Far out. That's a long time. What? Do, how many picks do we have, dude? We I didn't even I didn't even realize we are picking at round four and then we haven't got picks until round seven and seven again. Two left. Man, I don't even think Rambo is going to be there. 
Yeah. Will Rambo be there? Uh, he's gone, man. Rambo is gone. No, he's not. Let's pick Rambo. Kaboom. All right. So, yeah, we got Rambo. Let's go. Let's go. One minute and 52 seconds left. Uh, I'm, I would be the best GM. And then we, that's crazy. So, I look back at my selection drive. I have one minute left. Malik Willis, Zion Johnson, Kobe Bryant, Obina, Easy, Charleston, Rambo. And for 238, now last pick, I think we need to go defense. I've gone all offense. Uh, we have to go defense. I didn't realize how many picks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought the Steelers had more picks than that. I really did. So for the last pick with my last minute to go, we have to go defense, right? Whoever the best defensive player is. Um, what about this bloke? What about let's go to let's go middle linebacker, defend your linebacker. And oh, McFadden's a good name, a bit squirrely. Need a big school, too. What about uh, we need someone next to Bush, right? All right, let's do it. Let's get this guy from Clemson. And then we'll do a bit of a wrap up. 40 seconds left. Let's choose James Skalaski. That's a cool name. Let's do that guy. I didn't real I did not realize how little how little the Steelers had draft. Like how many draft picks we had. We have like six or seven picks. That's crazy. All right, 20 seconds left. We've done all our picks, right? So they're gonna go down to Mr. Irrelevant uh near the end. And why is that coming up? Get out of the way. Uh, let me see the results, man. I want to see who I picked. Okay, in this mock draft, which I have no idea what I'm doing, as my timer goes off, yeah, boom, see you later. Uh, we have picked. Man, there are so many ads on this thing. There's too many ads. I'm not even sure if YouTube will like this. We'll find out in the next few moments. Malik Willis from, from Liberty QB. Like I said, I think the Steelers need to pick up a QB. Uh, what a fantastic player he, he might turn into. He's so, you know, elusive and crazy. Uh, then we have Zion Johnson, uh, offensive line, Kobe Bryant. I just I chose Kobe Bryant because of the, the, you know, basketball player. Um, and we need we do need a cornerback, though. So that'd be interesting to look up him. Uh, Abina, easy, uh, offensive tackle, tackle. So we've got offensive line. Uh, maybe Zion Johnson's a guard. And easy is, the, is a tackle we need, too. And my mate, Charleston Rambo, man, what a sick. I would definitely buy a Rambo jersey, I'm telling you. If it was a Rambo jersey uh, in the Steelers, I'm going to buy a Rambo jersey. And then we have James Skalaski, uh, 238. So let me know if you guys agree with that. I don't, you probably don't. There's no way you agree with that. Um, Malik Wheeler, Zion Johnson, uh, Kobe Bryant, Abini, Abina Easy, Charleston Rambo receiver. And defensive-wise, James Skalaski. Also, I think we have more picks in that. I feel like we have one more, but like that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, right? I, I swear we have more than that. Um, what I might do is bring up some images in the next few moments of this video and talk about these picks because I don't, I don't know who these players are. I have no idea. <laughs> so let's... Let's figure out who these players are. All right, stick around, guys. Let's figure out who I just picked for the mock draft of all mock drafts because mock drafts are meant to be silly, and I have no idea who I chose. Let's figure out who I picked. G'day, Steel Nation Australia. Welcome back to, I guess, the analysis part. So I've done my 15 minutes of research um, on all these players, and I'm pretty confident to say, and I have a, a, an opinion and a view of them now, so let me work through them and give you a quick analysis of what I think of these players, all right, to the best of my ability. Uh, firstly, look, the one player I do know, um, if the Steelers draft a guy like Malik Willis, who is could be a fantastic quarterback in the future, Trey Lance kind of style, Michael Vick kind of bloke, Action uh, Jackson, Lamar Jackson, he can move around the pocket. Um, Malik Willis from the highlights I've seen and some of the articles I've read about him, if he's there at 20, I think the Steelers have to go and get a guy like that. 
Now, you could also, during free agency, you might bring someone in, uh, another veteran quarterback. Uh, do you end up playing Mason Rudolph? Like, or do you start Malik Willis from the very beginning? Uh, in my opinion, if you were to start Malik Willis, I think a lot of fans would want him to start. At the same time, though, I think you want to you don't want to ruin his career like other teams do when they start uh, rookie quarterbacks. I don't think you, I don't think you want to do that uh, just yet. So, excuse me. I think if he used to, if he would be at twenty and you pick him up, I think you'd be very careful with him. You get him accustomed to the offense and start getting him accustomed to how Matt Canada does things. And maybe Haskins could start in front of him or Rudolph if he's still around as well. So that would be a QB controversy, but it would be a, con a good controversy as well. So I'm pretty happy with that pick there, Malik Willis. Um, next pick, I did my research on Zion or Zion Johnson, the, uh, the guard. Um, there are reports out there that Trey Turner will move away, uh, will go away from our, what is he said? He's the right guard, right? We have left on Dotson Hill left. He's the right guard. So you might plug it and play him there. Uh, you might plug it and play him. He's a pretty big body from the highlights. I did see him too. He's pretty tenacious, pretty physical, uh, kind of player. He's a big fella from what I saw. I was pretty happy that, look, I don't know who these guys are. But when I research him for the like last five minutes, 10 minutes, I'm like, yeah, if we could have Dan Moore, Dotson, uh, Kendrick Green in the middle for center, see if he can still develop, bring in uh, Zion Johnson or Zion Johnson for the guard, and then who's going to be that tackle? Does Banner come back to be that right tackle? Or going down the list to 137, do we start a guy like, uh, Abini Easy, but I didn't find too much on Abini Easy, so he might just be a depth piece. When I took him a, another tackle there, I more want a depth piece. So I want Malik to maybe be the starter in the future, Zion Johnson to be the starter from day one. On that, we've got to build that offensive line bigger, bigger and bigger and bigger. Dan Moore, Dotson, Green, Johnson, Chukes at the moment for 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 right tackle. I don't know who's going to be right tackle. It could be Zach Banner. It could also bring in another person as well. Um, I then moved on to Kobe Bryant. And the only reason I picked up Kobe Bryant was because, because of his name. Because Kobe Bryant and, and we do need a cornerback too. So it would be interesting too to see before free agency if the Steelers keep Joe Hayden. Uh, I kill a Witherspoon around too. So we have the one-two punch with a Witherspoon. But I'm not totally sold on, on what Witherspoon can do. Um, I do like what he did for us down the stretch, but is he going to be a steal long term? I don't know. So Joe Hayden, if we can get him there for a few more years to be our number one corner, um, Sutton might still be around, but I'm also not sold on him too as well. So you need to bl to bring in some new some new players at that that position to create the competition. Uh, at cornerback and it'd be fun I also looked up his, some of his tape and look they're only highlights I didn't didn't look any lowlights but he seems to be a very aggressive player uh, Kobe Bryant was all over, all over the field all over the players he's getting everyone's face he seemed to be playing very good man to man uh, I did like that in the few other highlights I saw he seemed pretty pumped up uh, to be to be a bear cat and to play football so it would be exciting to bring in another cornerback for the Steelers to look when TJ and the defensive line are starting to get after get after the, the the quarterbacks, you need on the back end some really good coverage. So if Hayden stays and then we have players returning like Sutton, or we have Sutton on that deal, and if Kobe Bryant was that draft pick, a young a rookie guy, and wasn't needed the way that we had to use Trey Norwood last year. Trey Norwood was used so much. He had moments where he stood out and then Trey Norwood had absolute blunders where he couldn't do anything. So I like that. Looking it up and let me know what you think. I like that Kobe Bryant pick there at cornerback. Uh, moving down the list, we only have two, two picks left. I also looked up the guy. The only reason why I chose Charleston Rambo was because if this guy goes off a seventh rounder, Rambo, and if he makes the team, right, the reports out there that, you know, James Washington might leave this team. So he's like the third or fourth receiver. Um, if this would be the dreams, the, the, the guess the dream scenario. If Juju stays, Deontay's still there. 
Claypool's still there. That's a core cool three receivers, right? And looking at the highlights for Charleston Rambo, he's a very was a very a, a smaller player, but he kind of reminded me. Look, not not full on, but for what I saw was like a bit like Tyreek Hill. Now in this offense with Matt Canada, if we can use him like they use Tyreek Hill, we have a chance. We have a big chance. If we can use a guy like maybe Rambo gets a few reps, right? And if we still, I think Ray Ray might even be a free agent too. Uh, don't quote me on that. Actually, don't quote me on a lot of things. You know, I'm just trying, just, just trying my best. Um, if Rambo came in and was the fourth receiver or fifth receiver and he made the squad, right? So we had Juju, Claypool, and Deontay and possibility of having Rudolph there with Najee and Muth and Gentry. Then you could use a guy in this system like how that Canada wants them to use. Motion, play action, uh, screens, you know, bubble kind of screens that hopefully work. Like a lot of these things weren't working last year. Um, but just just get the guy, get this, get the team involved, get all the players involved. So Rambo was pretty fun. If you want to look him up, look up his highlights. Rambo from Miami, Florida. I uh, looked at his tape. It's quite fun. Like some of his highlights were he's pretty physical, but he's a smaller guy. He's not the tallest receiver. But he probably um, would remind me like a Deontay Johnson. But Deontay Johnson has really good hands, route running ability. You know, Rambo, he kind of looks, he does look like a like a Ray Ray, right? He's that four fifth guy. So if he made it, that'd be fantastic. Um, lastly, I looked up James Galaski. Now I chose him just because of the name. Half these players, I chose him because of the name, right? Now it would be funny if I get any of these right. <laughs> In, in a few months' time, it'd be funny if I get any of these right. I don't think so. I don't think I will. Um, James Skalaski, from the tape I saw in the highlights, no lowlights, in the highlights I saw for the, like for five, four or five minutes, um, he just reminded me of a normal linebacker. Nothing stood out, you know. So he's picked there. We're still on the board, 238, round seven. Just like a normal linebacker. Um, defended the run pretty well. Was pretty physical. Had one of those cool neck things on his on his shoulders. Um, yeah, nothing really stood out to to what I was expecting to be at linebacker there, but I'm picking him at round seven. And it's interesting because I think with the six or seven picks we have, I went pretty much all on offense, but I think we still have so many holes on defense as well. Um, you know, we don't know if Stefan Tua is coming back. We don't know. We know that Alawali wants to, or he should be more healthier. Um, we don't know about Schobert. If he's going to play a middle linebacker, so will it be Devin Bush and Spillane show again, or do we need a veteran to come in and figure that out on the defense? So there's a few missing pieces there, but I went mostly uh, went mostly offense. So yeah, what do you guys think? Is that cool? Is what I, what I did? Is that all right? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Malik Willis, the big fella, Zion Johnson. Uh, he'll be right guard, I would assume, if Dotson is left guard. Kobe Bryant would, would would work himself into the into the secondary along with hopefully Hayden Witherspoon Sutton Trey Norwood those fellas Obuna Easy would be like depth or trying to make the team at tackle right Rambo would be that sneaky guy that hopefully would make the team at fourth or fifth receiver maybe a return guy we need a return guy uh, James Skalaski at Special teams or trying to make the team as well. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I don't know. That was kind of fun. I don't know if that's if those choices were good, bad, ugly. Like I said, mock draft. No idea what I'm doing, I'm going to call it. Uh, Steelers Nation Australia mock draft. One point, no idea what I'm... No idea. Sorry, one point. Yeah. One point or just... No, no, no. Steelers Nation Australia. Mock draft, no idea what I'm doing. That would do. That's a show. <laughs> you remember those? You remember those episodes in Seinfeld? Talk about nothing. That's a show. That's a show. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments who you're. Who's number one? Who's the number one draft? At least let me know in the comments who's going to be the number one draft pick. I went Malik Willis. He was sitting there, and I kind of had to. I think I, I think I had to in that moment. I had to go Malik Willis. Let me know in the comments below who do you go number one and all the other picks, were they good picks? It was pretty fun to research them, by the way. It was really fun to research them. So, yeah, as always, uh, what are we now? 
at almost 10 p.m. at night, and I'm going to upload it straight away. As always, here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Oh! <laughs>